right, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, first off, we would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Okay, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine who we learn the truth from according to the Bible. Okay, we're the Hebrew Israelites and we would like to say Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing shalom, his truth shalom. and our righteousness and in sincerity around the four winds of the earth and to the sincere believers in a few off walk, a few sisters. Hey, Shalom. I'm the shalom. brother Ha Amayan. I'm the brother Paul Walk. Okay, we back out here to chant down Babylon, America. North America, which is Babylon the Great, this uh, bitter fucking country, this a hey, big cesspool, and to you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians to tell you that it's a high time to wake up out of sleep, and you are the people of uh, Yahweh Shema Washa, okay, Yasharala, meaning Israel, that's the Hebrew name, and also to you nations, man, Moab, Ham, Ammon, uh, all you nations, man, Ishmael, all of y'all, man, to say Esau, Edom, the top chief enemy, that y'all going down, man, and y'all going to um, build our kingdom back up, man. Lord willing, we be a part of that elect, man. But y'all will uh, go under slavery, man. Y'all by Shemal Shah is going to put y'all down, man. He's going to rule with a rod of iron, man, a so-called black man, man, a so-called Negro, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, this be an edifying street preaching. Uh... I want to go straight into the point because, man, right now the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shah is doing a lot of sifting. And it's a lot of people out here faking the funk. A lot of people out here debunking the Lord, man. Okay, a lot of people out here defrauding the brotherhood. And a lot of people just ain't meant to be, man. Okay? And it's nothing personal. Okay, but to the hopeful elect, man, we got to keep striving. Keep striving, man. Matter of fact, I'll bring that out real quick. Uh, Sirach chapter. Ecclesiasticus chapter 4 and verse 28. And guess what, man? The scripture also say be instant in season, not a season, man. Oh, so we out here in the rain making our bodies a living sacrifice for your high by Shema was shot. I should have grabbed that umbrella. We should be good. Hey, this is Sirach chapter 4, verse 28. It reads, strive for the truth unto death, man. Okay, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Hey, the Lord is with us whithersoever we go, man. The Lord commanded us. He told us to be not dismayed. Don't be terrified. Don't be afraid, man. Okay? It takes faith to trust in your how about Shemal Shah, man. You hey, and without faith, it is impossible to please your how about Shemal Shah, man. The Lord is looking for faith. He's looking for faith, man. Are you going to keep your faith? Are you going to endure to the end for your how about Shemal Shah? All right? I just want to wipe the screen off, so like it. Are we good. Are we going to rock out, man. Lord willing, man, everything go good. But, um, you got something you want to bring out? Uh, yeah, I'll try to find it. Yeah, man, we got to scribe for the truth unto death, man. And the Lord to fight for us, man. Okay? The Lord is looking for faith, man. The Lord is looking for faith. A lot, a lot of people are not going to endure to the end because they was ordained not to be a part of the remnant, man. It's people that's going to be wearing garments and preaching the name, Yahweh by Shema Shah, <clears throat> and going to fall out this thing, man. The Lord is looking for faithful men, man. And it's, it's not only men, it's just 144,000 men are scattered around the four winds of the earth preaching his truth. But, hey, it's three different sectors of salvation, man. You got the one-third in America, and you got that peaceful, that peacefully multitude, man, that great and number multitude, man. Men, women, and children, they're going to sincerely believe in your how about Shema shot. And they are dang, man. No matter, hey, you can't even change that. And you can't make yourself a part of the elect, man. But the Lord going to have mercy on who he going to have mercy on, man. But, hey, the point is to have faith, man, to trust the Lord wherever you go. From a lower state until you, even when you feeling blessed, man. Even when you, you, hey, hey, the Lord don't bless you with 
good job, things of that nature, even when he done took jobs from you, man. Still stay faithful to your high about your mouth shot, man. Because it ain't nothing for the Lord to uh, make a poor man rich, man. That's the scripture says. But you got it, uh. It's 2 Peter 2 and verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them up, that, that bought them and bring upon them self swift destruction. So in these last days, man, you gotta realize, man, you're gonna have a lot of men, you know, hey, even brothers amongst us, man, that's gonna fall out, you know, hey, start start teaching against the hey, the doctrine which our apostles and elders have been laboring in and teaching, man, through the spirit of power, y'all by she all shop, start coming up against authority order, you know. And you're going to have men out here teaching false doctrine, man, teaching things that are not according to the scripture, adding and taking away the book. And the Lord warned us these things, man, you know. You're going to have men getting weak, you know, and hey, going about to um, establishing their own righteousness. That's right, bro. You know, all these things are going to happen, man. But, hey, we just got to continue to push hey, and, 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 and pray that the Lord keep hey, the, 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 us, the, a, a sincere spirit on us, man, you know. Because those that the Lord bug out, and do that too, man. They ultimately not of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. They not of the Lord's, man. You know, the Lord A was never dealing with them in the first place. That's right, bro. Verse 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways mm. by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, man. You see? So that means they're going to start coming up against the truth. They're going to start speaking evil, ill will of the truth, of, of brothers, you know. Hey, the lot, your how about she how shot, man, through the spirit, man. Hey, the, hey, we were warned of these things, man, from, from our prophets, you know, brothers, our forefathers are old, you know. And Bible Bible Shah, um, if I can, I'll get that definition for that word pernicious. Yeah, come. I can bring out a quick preset. Oh. Hey, this is first John chapter two, verse 19. And it reads, They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would not doubt and have continued with us. But they went out and that they may that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us, man. So it's obvious to see, man. It's obvious to see, man. Hey, hey, and a lot of people really offended in your how about Shema was shot. So if you offended in your how about Shema was shot, we feel offended, man. But hey, hey, um, what the scriptures say about uh don't render evil with evil. Hey, hey, cause how about some out shot gonna pay, man? Y'all must forgot, man, the earth gonna rock to and fro like a drunkard. This place gonna get nuked, man. And for you ones that um not considering your ways and don't wanna repent and and and, and, and um things like blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, and hey, you can't be forgiven for that, man. The Lord's so merciful, hey, you still can be forgiven for the for the for the hurtful things you're doing to the Lord, man. You can be forgiven, but are you contrite enough? Because these spirits are nothing to play with, man. You have no power over these spirits, man. You have no power over these spirits. The Lord is not playing. The Lord is doing a great sifting, man. A house cleaning. The Lord, how about Shemal Shah is to be feared, man. The Lord, how about Shemal Shah is to be feared, man. He's known by his judgments. Okay. You got all that definition. That definition. So this is the definition for the word pernicious. Um, pernicious. And it means having a harmful effect. So like you're having a harmful effect. Mm. Especially in a gradual or subtile way. You Ooh. know. So you're going to have men, you know, that's going to come, you know, being subtile, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a bad and evil way, man, to try to basically come up against the truth, man. You know. Because they, because like the brother said, man, they're offended in your hollow shot, man. And I was trying to get that proof set. I believe it's in Matthew 13 about uh, by who? Uh, the ones that offended me. Uh, all right, all right, now. Let me see. Matthew 13. I'm not Yeah, man, because Yahweh Shah, 
Oh, it, 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 it this one is verse 21. But I know it's a yeah. parable, though. The parable of the sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Con, that's what I was talking uh, And there's also another precept going into, um, I know what you, I don't know where, exactly where it's at, too. I think, it, I think it's 10. Matthew 10. If I'm not mistaken. Matthew um, 13, 13 and 21. Okay, fine. It's a lot. This is um, Matthew 13 and 21. It says, yet. Yeah. Start, start at verse 19. Verse 19. And about the sharp here. You can get that one. Okay. Yeah, man. Many, many people are offended in Yahweh by Shemal Shah when they come down. Because the name of Yahweh by Shemal Shah is dreadful among the heathen. But you, but you men, but you, you Israelite men and women that's on this chart, man. Hey, y'all, y'all heavily offended, man. Two thirds are offended in the Lord, man. And just like you offended in the Lord, the Lord hate two thirds, man. Y'all are considered the Lord's enemies, man. You blinded. You can't get this truth. Y'all hate this truth, man. It's uh, Matthew 18. That, that's the spirit. I was just thinking that. I was like, Matthew hey, someone, 18. Matthew 18. You can hold that, and I, I grab this real quick. This is um. Matthew 13 and verse 19, it say, when anyone hear, hear the word of the kingdom and understand it, not that come of the, then come of the wicked one and catch up away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed unto stony places, the same is he that heareth the word and are now with joy, receive of it. You see, so you first get this truth, you know, and you and, 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 and you going in it, you know, you move, you moving, you know, you understanding, you getting it, you know, uh, which is verse verse twenty going in, man. You receiving it, you getting it, it becomes joy unto you. Verse twenty one, it say, yet have he not root in himself, mm. but dure for a while. Yeah. For when tribulation or persecution See, arises. When that tribulation and that persecution come, man. And guess what? That's, that's about to come, man. That's about to come, man. Hey, when that tribulation and that persecution come, ain't nobody going to stand boldly for you. How about your mouth shot? Only but the hopeful elect, man. And, hey, that weirdo. As that scripture say, man, um, uh, as the scripture say, uh, and thought faint in the day of yeah, adversity, y'all yeah, stripped this far, man. So you was so you was never grounded in your high bosh and y'all was shot. You was never rooted, man. That's As the spirit. scripture just said, man, you didn't have root. Yeah, yeah, the Lord may have called you in his truth, you know, but your but your hey, it was never meant for you, for you to endure for to, you the to, the to end. endure to the end. They man. said, though they endure for a while. Wow. So yeah. it may seem yeah. like this, that, and the third. Because you know what that is, man. You hey, really that's never, scary, though. You really, you really never let go of that old man, you know? You really never, you re, you really never was um, renewed mm. um, it, through the spirit, man. You see, so when that persecution and tribulation came upon you, guess what, man? You got you got faint, you got, got weak knees. Hearted. And what they say is the rock. Woe to woe to um them that are faint hearted, and then it say woe to them that have lost patience. Yep. What what will you do when the Lord shall visit you, man? See? This thing is about patience. That's why the scripture is saying your patience possesses your soul. And guess what? You're gonna have to suffer for your high by shot. Guess man. what, man? When the Lord say, Walk you that lost patience, that means you got tired of suffering. You got tired you of suffering. You don't want to suffer for the Lord no more, man. You want you know? the Lord to come back on your time. And, that, and like I said, like, like the scripture just said, when that tribulation, we don't want you to finish. I'm yeah, finish yeah. it off. Hey, come. It says, For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by, he is offended. So then, so now you offended, man. You know? Because, because hey, man, bro, bro, you can't take the pressure. You can't, uh, you can't uh, take the heat. You can't take the pressure and the heat due to doctrine. That's right. Hey, the, it's bitter. What what the scripture say about, um, it be sweet in your mouth, but it, it get bitter in your yep. stomach, roughly paraphrasing. Right. Hey, so, hey, man, this, this ain't about you, bro. At the end of the day, whether you a woman, Israelite woman or Israelite man, you offended and you have by Shema or Shah. Hey man, hey, the best better, the best thing I can say, hey, if you don't repent, and if it ain't in your lot to repent, be converted. Hey, get ready to die. 
Hey, I ain't finna sugarcoat it, cause the Lord ain't gonna sugarcoat it, man. But just to balance it out, man, hey, for, for you ones that straddling the fence, man, hey, be careful who you listening to. Be careful who you listening to, man. That's why the scripture said Matthew 24, take heed that no man deceive you, man. You don't go to let nobody deceive you. And I got a quick precept, uh, real quick. Uh, Colossians chapter 2, verse 6. As ye have therefore received the anointed one, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, the Lord, so walk ye in him, right? It, verse 8 reads, rooted and built up in him. That brother read in Matthew 13, no root in him. Bro, they endure for a while, and they get offended when persecution and tribulation come. Hey, you ain't you ain't rooted. The scriptures say rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding therewith therein with thanksgiving, man. Hey, it's all about being rooted in your how about Shamal Shah, man. It's all about being rooted in your how about Shamal Shah, man. Ain't about, ain't about so much of being being oh, they ain't noticing me. I ain't got a lot of views or this, that, and the third. Hey man, get out your feelings, man. Yeah, hey, man, me and this brother Salak not to cut y'all. Me and this brother in particular, man, we young babes, man. But guess what, man? Through the spirit of power, you have by Shema Shai, we feel the Lord. So we're going to come out here and be diligent and not just on camera, but off camera, man. Spiritually trimming that fat off, man. Because we know you how about Shema Shai is watching, man. The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, man. Because you got a lot of brothers out there, man. You know, um, a lot of men, you know, on camera. You know, they super Israelites, you know, but in their own personal walk, man, they ain't really applying scriptures, man. They ain't really applying doctrine, man. And that's one thing that, hey, the Lord is looking at it, man, with us that's in his faith what in his fight, man. What, what, what the Lord told, matter of fact, real quick, what did the Lord tell, um, what did the Lord tell, um, that's the spirit. First, if I can bump the shot, grab it. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. But the Lord Yahweh said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord Yahweh seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord Yahweh looketh on the heart, man. So the Lord want to know if you really changed on the inside, man. You know, so we got to really be <coughs> living this truth, Salaki. That instant. No, no, no. That just ain't fun. No, um, yeah, we got to really be living this truth, man, because you ain't really... Being rooted and grounded, you're not really applying the things that you learned, man. You know, then hey, the, the, you really, you really deceiving yourself, man. You know, yeah. the truth is not, it, it ain't profitable for you, man. You just being a, 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 a hearer of the word of the scriptures say, you know, and that'll cause the Lord to spew you out. You see, and we all got to take that in consideration, man. Every every one of us that's in this fight, that's in this truth, man, in sincerity, whether brother or sister, man. You know, Akimo Akwak, man, we all got to take that into consideration, man, that we must, hey, um, do the same the same thing that we preaching and giving out, man. We got to make sure that we applying it, man. That's right. You know, the Lord said, woe unto you hypocrites, man. The mm -hmm. Lord hates a hypocrite. That's right. He said the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment, man. You see? So we can't be hypocrites, man. We got to be, hey, all the way in with your how about she, how shot, man. We got to really be trimming our ways, man. You know, and, and fashioning them after the ways of Yahweh by Shah. That's right, bro. Now, I got a quick precept. Okay. This is Philippians 3 and verse 18. It says, For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Hamashiach, man. That's the spirit. You see? That's the spirit. So, hey, a, lot of, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of men, you know, they're enemies to the Most High, man. They're enemies to the cross. Right. Of, of a Mashiach, man. You know? They don't they don't sincerely and truly believe, man. You know, they don't really have faith. You see? That's why they bug out, you know, and they get to hey, following after the imaginations of their own heart, man. That's you right. see? Which matter of fact, if you can um hold that Romans 10, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. one through one, three. Yeah, kind, kind. You know, because that's what you got going on, man. You you got a lot of men, man, they're not, they're not, they're not um sincere, man. They're not really you know, up under the yoke of your how about she how shot, man. They 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 doing it. They want to do their own thing, man. They don't want to follow the order that's been set up. You see, but at the end of the day, man, the Lord the Lord set the order up in the earth, man. You know, from 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 our apostles and elders and, and heads, you know, men of all that's over us, man. You know, the Lord said that He set men. Matter of fact, um, Bible shops lock. See if I can get this. 
But the scriptures say, let all things be done in this right. in order, man. It's about order. That's why we have teachers, so you can be taught, so you know which way to walk, man. Yeah. Let me let, let me grab this quick precept. We'll come back to Philippians. And, um, yeah, just hold that. What's the name? That Romans. I want to grab this real quick. Um, Hebrews. Hebrews 13 and verse 17. And in Hebrews 13 and 17, it say, Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is um, for that is unprofitable for you. You know, the apostles so the, and elders, man, they watching right. over Israel's soul, man. That's right, man. The, the men that the Lord has set up, you know, through the order, man, you know, whether it's a head of a camp, a bishop, an elder, you know, the apostles. Hey, man, the Lord set that up, man, hey, because, hey, do, 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 hey the Lord set up that order, man, so, hey, they can watch over our souls, man, you know? Hey, they, they, they are examples unto us, man, so why, why, would, why would you not want to follow up under the order that the Lord set up? See that just let you that let you know that hey you ain't truly with um Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah man you know because the Lord is all about order man and then you, you don't truly accept the whole doctrine man that's right man you know and it's because it's because it's because you get offended you see and you let you let you let um you let you let um the, the spiritual the spiritual demon Satan the tempter the tempter man take hold of you you know play on your mind man and because you ain't being rooted in the spirit, you know, you ain't you ain't being diligent to yourself, you know. I don't, don't, those spirits corrupt you and corrupt your mind, man, to the point to where, hey, you feel like you don't gotta follow up under the order, man. And now you want now you now you so called want to do your own thing, man. You know, that's and, right. and, and men that's like that, man. If you don't get right and repent, and hey, the Lord will destroy you. Yeah, that mashapatim is happening now, man. The Lord, it's just gonna intensify, and grow and grow and get Cause worse. Because like, hey, like the brother said earlier, man, we we see. Hey, that we are in a sifting, man. The Lord, hey, hey as the scriptures say, he say we're going to sift the house of Israel as corn is seed, man. And the Lord is doing a sifting, man. You know, you got men just bugging out, you know, falling out, walking away, taking their hand off the plow. You see, the Lord say any man that take his hand off the plow and look back, is not, um, roughly paraphrased, is not fit for the kingdom of the most high, man. Luke 9, 62, I want to say. Come. If you, I mean, if you want to pull it, we can grab it. Like, come. Yeah, I want to grab. Uh, back to, um, the before I grab that, Luke, Luke 9, I got a quick precept. This is Hebrews 10 and verse 39. And it reads. Now, I'm going to start at 38. Now, the just shall live by faith. Right. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back into perdition. But of them that believe to the saving of the soul, man. So guess what? When you follow from under the order that your how about she how shot set up, guess what, man? That's that's you drawing back. You know? When you coming up when you come from up under the, the order that the that the Lord set up, man, you know, you drawing back. And the Lord said that his that his um that Salaki, read it again. Oh, okay. Uh Salaki, I had to run out for it. Hebrews ten and verse 39, but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe. No, 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 oh, no, no, verse 38. No, no, no. Oh, like Verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure. That's the point, man. So you drawing you drawing back, man. The Lord say his his soul shall not have pleasure in you. You see? So basically the Lord take remove the spirit from you, man. You see? Hey, and we hey, that's the and that's the last thing. You won't happen to you at these times, man. Seeing that we at the end, seeing the Lord speed things up, seeing these prophecies playing out, you know, the Lord at the door, man. And you you want to get weak because you offended, you know, in doctrine. The same, this, hey, the same, hey, the, the, hey, if you offended in this word, man, then you offended in y'all's shot, man. Because, hey, your house shot is the word. He's the bread of life. Come on, man. But see, men, they they don't they don't they don't, hey man they don't think about that man. They get so puffed up with this knowledge that they forget the basics, man. That see, is right, bro. All right, you got a little more on it. Oh, uh, I got that Luke nine and sixty two. And Yahweh said unto him, 
no man and it's red letter just to show you that's red letter verse 62 it says and no man red letter that's your how shy words who the word incorrectly called jesus christ Yahweh Shah said, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom See that? of Yahweh. So you so you done so you done you done you done took your hand off this plow, man. You done stopped doing the work. You know? You ain't going out no more. You know? Or you are you are you are you done fell up under the order and now you scoffing the apostles or you scoffing the elders, the men that taught you, you know? You trying to come up some other way. You trying to do your own thing, man. And the Lord said that no man that taketh his hand from the plow is fit for the kingdom of the most high, man. You know? A lot of men need to check their spirits, man. That's why the scriptures say, examine yourself, yourself man. man. Know ye not yourself? You feeling That's like you slipping and got them tight demons on you, man. Pray fast and, and, and counsel with the brotherhood, man. This ain't about you, man. That's why the scriptures say, woe to him that is alone. You... It ain't, hey man, and you don't you don't want to go that route. And it's so crazy because you got you got a lot of men, you know, scoffing the apostles, right? You know, but how, who did you learn the truth from, man? You know, <laughs> you didn't wake up one day and and, and 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 just know everything that you know. No, man, you was taught and, and from the order that the Lord set up, man. So, 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 you know that that's a that's a prideful spirit. What the Lord say that pride go for destruction that you and think out to your spirit before a fall. that you think the same man that taught you oh you so you not even that that you think you can surpass or come up on a oh, level yeah. past them. Yeah, nah. All right, now. Nah. All right, all right. Come on, man. That's pride, man. You see, we are supposed to always abide up under the order, man, the, uh, of the men that's over us, man. You know. And, and pay homage to them, man. That's right. Because if it wasn't for the Lord setting them up, you we wouldn't have this truth. Hey, man, our apostle elders been laboring in this thing for, for 30 plus years, man. You know? You got elders, bishops been laboring this thing 15, 20 years, which is not a, about that, but it's the point, man. You know? And you, you come in for your short period of time and think that you can get on a level more than them. Hey, man, that's pride, man. But they ain't fell out, though. You they see, ain't fell out. Right. They ain't resigned, and, and they still and they still pushing doing the work, man. Hey, this is nothing personal, man. But the scriptures talk about these things, man. You gonna have men like that, man? I got a quick precept. Uh, oh. oh, you got some more? I like it. I like it. You good? I'll finish, finish off this Philippians. This is um back in Philippians, Philippians three and eighteen. It say, for many walk, whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Hamashiach. That's right. Whose end is destruction, whose power is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things, man. You see? Because really, you know, like I said, man, you ain't really been reborn again, man. Your spirit is still engulfed in, 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 in the world, man. You know? You ain't really looking at things from a spiritual aspect. You leaning up to your own understanding. You see? And the Lord told us about that, man. Hey, many are deceived from their own vain opinion. Hey, our, hey, our, our, our opinion and our thoughts don't matter, man. It's all about matter. it's all about doctrine, man. And through the and through this and through this whole thing, man, our apostles and elders, man, they been they through through the spirit, we believe that they've been pushing hundred percent doctrine, man. You know how you gonna get offended for something that's coming out of the scriptures? I, like, I, like, once again, I'm going to say it again. Our opinion don't matter, man. It's about doctrine, man. The truth matters. You see? And hey, once you get offended at the word, man, like I said, you you get a, yeah, you get ultimately offended at the Lord, man. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't man's words. <laughs> Who are you really seeking to please, though? <laughs> hey, the Lord said we rather to obey the most high rather than men, man. Come. You see? So we got we got we got to we got to teach the word the way the Lord told us to teach it. You see? Uh Yeah, that was it on that. I got a quick precept. Uh Matthew chapter 23 and verse 12. It reads, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And Ooh. and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted, man. See? And a lot of men ain't humble, man. You know? A lot, a lot of men, they, they, ain't, they ain't coming in the spirit of meekness, man. They want to be the top dog, man. You know? They don't, they, 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 they don't want to respect the order that's being set up, man. You know? They, they want to, they, they think, they think, 
they, 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 they can do better. They want, they think that they, 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 the, you know, the, um, like Jake said in the world, the big homie, you know? It's lucky not to say it like that, but you know. Yeah, they, 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 they want to be yeah. that nigga. I mean, it's not about that, man. It's about it's about salvation, man. It's about do you really want to be saved? But what about this scripture? The servant is not greater than his Lord. That's right. I got a real quick one. I'm still holding that Matthew 18. Oh, that's, 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 yeah, 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 you, you grab it. No, you got it. Yeah, I'm going to uh, start at verse 3. Oh, Matthew 18, verse 3, and said, Verily, which means truly. Huh? Oh, yeah. Matthew chapter 18. <coughs> In verse 3, it said, and said, Verily I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And what's that scripture? Uh, is it in Hebrews? Uh, a desire to sit in milk as a newborn babe? Yep. Because the Lord told Nicodemus to... Um, to be reborn again, not go in your mama womb. But you got to come, you got to come back. And hey, cause we've been westernized over here, man. Whether you want to admit it or not, everything we learned. If you don't got this truth, all your false teachings come from Esau, Edom, and these heathens, man. Right. You don't know nothing, man. You got to come back as a newborn babe, man, and desire to sense your milk that you should grow thereby, right? Uh, verse four. I mean, verse 5, Matthew 18 and 5, and whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receive of me. And what is that name? The Lord's name is what? Yahweh Shai, who the word incorrectly called Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, right? But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. See, you got to be careful who you put your mouth on, man, as far as like, and I'm talking about not physically putting your mouth on someone. What you speak, that ill will, that malice, man, because the Lord may literally love that man, man. You got it, huh? That's the spirit. I had a, uh, I had a, I had a precept on that. Uh, you can finish that point, though. You, you make, you finish oh, yeah. Like, hey, the Lord may literally, what did the Lord literally love? And it, it, the Lord, the Lord, it's like it for my words. The Lord loved the elect, man. That's right. Hey, the Lord said, I love those that love me. Hey, my sheep shall hear me. And, hey, what the scripture? My sheep shall hear me and follow me. That's the hopeful elect, man. You can't be having a ill will and evil intentions, man, towards the Lord's men or his elect, his remnant. Hey, man. Woe unto you, man. That's how y'all buy some out shall feel, man. Destruction unto you, man. Destruction, man. Uh, I'm going to finish. I got two, three more verses. In verse 7, Matthew 18 and 7, it says, Woe unto the world because of offenses. Ooh. For it must be needs that offenses come. See, it's prophesied to happen. So, so, so we're not of, surprised and we don't take it personally. You got to. Uh, now, nah, so like I was going to say, and a lot of people are offended yeah. in this word, man. Yeah. And even, that's red even, letter. Even men in the truth, man. You know, oh, you yeah. got men that's portraying, you know. Like, 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 like they down, you, uh, but deep uh, down uh, in their uh, spirit. so portraying to be a brother. Yeah. But deep down in their yeah. spirit, man, they, they offended at this word. They offended at the men that the Lord set up. The heads, the apostles, you know. The things that they bring out, man. Hey, bro, brothers. Hey, just like um, in the time when the, um, with the, um, when the Lord was telling them about, um, you shall eat of my flesh and eat of my, um. That was a fit. Drink my blood. That was a fit. You know. And those dudes that got offended, man, and basically those left, the disciples. left the Lord. Those the disciples that got offended. Hey, as a matter of fact, I'm finna go there. Hey, this saint, this, hey, let me, hey, God, hey, that is spirit, bro. Cause I was just reading that chapter, yeah. Saint John chapter six, man. Cause that without the vision, people perish, man. Like the Lord, hey, I'm gonna finish this off and grab that. Hey, this is verse seven, Matthew eighteen and seven. It reads, "For it must be needs that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh." Hey, whew. the Lord say, whoa, <laughs> destruction unto you, man. That's offended. Hey, you see? So, <laughs> hey, man, at the end of the day, man, the truth is the truth, man. No matter, no matter how it may be spoken of or how it may come out, the truth is the truth, man. You see? And you can't, you can't, you can't get all butt hurt, man, at, at the Lord's words, man. You know? 
We got to be fully accepted of everything the Lord said, man, from the T. Hey, it's a lengthy chapter, but I'm going to start at verse, just to get to the point. I'm going to start at verse 54 and jump down. It says, this is St. John chapter 6, verse 54. Whoso eat of my flesh and drink of my blood have eternal life, and I will raise him up at that last day, at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eat of my flesh and drink of my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. And see what they didn't understand, the parable in that man that what the Lord wasn't talking um um physically of himself, man. He was talking about the word. It's truth. And you the know? Lord is the word. The Lord is the word, man. You see? The Lord was talking about the word, man. You know? Eat, eating it truth, man. You know, and, hey, take taking this truth upon yourself, man. But, you know, but they was looking at the Lord like he was a damn caliber, man. Cause because previ previous previously in that chapter, uh the verse 51, it says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Which is which is his word, man. And guess what? That's the spirit, because it says the Jews therefore scrove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Yeah, they were they was they were they 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 they, they was thrown out by it, man. You know, they was offended. They ain't understand. You know? They ain't understand. But hey, jumping back up to verse 57. As the living Father have sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead, he that eat of this bread shall live forever, man. Okay. Now, it says, these things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, they said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? When Yahweh shot knew himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Red letter, do this offend you? Yeah. What? And if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where, where, where he was before, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. And you have that to this day. Right. For Yahweh shot knew from the beginning who. They were that believe not, and who should betray him, man? And he said, Therefore I say unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time, many of his disciples walked with him no more. So those were them disciples, man. It says, Then said Yahweh shot unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. You see? And we believe and are sure that thou art Hamashiach, the son of the living power. Yeah, 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 the sun coming out. That's a major blur. That's a lot. I got to turn it this way, man. Yeah, you might have to that. That'll be fine. That's all. Hey, St. John, Salaki for that. St. John chapter 6 and verse 69. And we believe and are sure that thou art Hamashiach, the anointed one, the son of the living power. Verse 70. Yahweh shall answer them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that betrayed him, being one of the twelve. But the point, man, hey, the Lord is the bread of life, man. Yeah, and, and, was, and many men are offended by Yahweh yeah, Shai. They, they was offended when the Lord said that, man, because they didn't understand what the Lord meant, man. You know? They was looking at it literal. And, See, and, and the, even to this day, man, you know, it's people offended in those in the hard sayings of the Lord, man. You that's know? why the scriptures say what? It is. It is given unto you yep. to understand the mystery. Because you got you got Israelites, you know, an another hard saying, you know, that Israelites get offended at is that, hey, this truth is only for Israelites, man. Only for Israel, man. You see? And it ain't got nothing to do with these other nations, you know? That's a hard saying, man. And, 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 a, and a lot of Israelites get offended about that, man. You see? 
But at the end of the day, man, you got you got to you got to get your own emotions out of it, man. Cause it ain't about us. You see, it's about doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah and accepting everything that comes with doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Whether it be tribulation, persecution, uh, no, all of that, man. Separate you. you know, like Romans eight. We got we got to accept it all, man. You can't accept parts of the truth what you want to accept, man. You no, know? you got to be all the way in, man. Rooted. We go back to being rooted, man. I got a quick, quick one, man. This is um going back to what you said earlier about that malice. This okay. is wisdom of Solomon one and verse four. For unto a, a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Ooh, so hey, the wisdom of your how about Shemai Shah can't dwell in a soul. A body full of uh, malice, man. Let's get that word. Yeah, get malicious. that yeah, malicious. Because the root word is malice. And that's that ill will. I got it right here in the... You um, got it in Google or Edom. In the Edom online. It say, harboring ill will. See? Enmity. Enmity. But what the scriptures say? Hey, um, the Salaki from his speaking it. The love of the world is enmity to, to, enmity yeah. to the most high. Enmity is in the scriptures. Yeah, the mind is enmity to the most high. That's both. Hey, hey. Yeah. The Lord said that too. That, hey, um, whoso love of the world shall, hey, um, um, that, the, um, um, so like it, James 4 and 4. You yeah, don't you, don't you know you're not. Oh, yeah. that, 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 friendship that, of the world. Friendship of the world is enmity with the most high. And who shall be a friend of the world is enemy to the most high. That's malice. You see? And like he like said, um, a carnal mind is. Is enmity to the most high because that's the carnal mind, man. To have malice, you know, to have ill will. These are things the Lord told us. Hey, we 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 want we traits that we ain't supposed to have. Strife, envy amongst brothers, mm -hmm. you know. You ain't supposed to have those things. You ain't supposed to be holding grudges. You see? It's supposed to be confessing, man. It say right. hostility, showing ill will, spiteful, wicked, wicked. So that's a you know, Hostile. That's a wicked thing, man. They say wicked, malicious, badness, ill will, unpleasant. You know, and that's pretty much the point. See, See it's unpleasant. That's not pleasing. That's, that's ill will, man. Having ill will, having 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 strife and, and, and towards and the brother, everything towards a brother, man. So towards you your know? elders, towards yeah. to, towards the men of the Lord, man. Lord, wouldn't we be a part of that number? But ultimately, you have an ill will towards the Lord. And you don't right. want to admit it. Because you know in your soul, I don't know, whatever you think it is unpleasant. And the Lord is coming back to put all of that in check, man. So once again, if you don't repent, hey man, repentance is key. Being contrite is key. If you don't repent and have faith and, and convert and confess your sins to your about your mouth shot, hey man. You're going to be nuke food, man. Because you're going to be in that part of that, that, that second devil. Right. And, 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 and me personally, hey, I'm working on fearing the Lord even more, man. I don't want no smoke with the Lord, man. Because he's it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. You how about Shemal Shah? The Lord will jack your ass up, man. The Lord will kill your mom, your dad, your children, you. Hey, the Lord will have it where you will just be tormented, man. The Lord will have it where you will just be getting tortured, bro. That's right. You, you won't even die that quick. You just being tortured. You want to play with y'all about Shemal Shah? And that's why that scripture going to hit so hard, man. First Peter 4 and 17. Judgment going to begin at the house of the Most High for the men that knew this. Hey, man, what that scripture is, uh, Bible Shah, help me out. Uh, him that knew the Lord will, man. He did not. Should be beating with many strikes. going to be beating, man. You can hold on. You can hold on. 14 to 27. Right, I finished off this wisdom of Solomon. This is wisdom of Solomon. 1 in verse 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit Ooh. and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. That's that Rakakwadash. The Holy Spirit of discipline. That's what it's about too, man. Men ain't disciplined. Having people. that discipline, man. Mm -hmm. When you in school, when you got behavior, that Jake got a behavior problem. They write you up and they call it a disciplinary action. And you, they send you to detention, ISS, or you get expelled. 
Well, guess what? Then it's true. You don't get your discipline right or discipline yourself. That's like, that's like your review. You know, yeah, so the Lord going to jack you up. So, 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 so when your discipline get get called in the check, man, you get rebuked. You can't get all butt hurt about it, man. You know? No matter how, not no matter how the Lord may allow it to come off in the spirit, man. Our brother's not just gonna completely just disrespect the brother because they, they're, you know? they're, they're not malice. That's not the ill will, you see. But they men. But we are we are to rebuke one another when when a brother going off, man, or uh, if a brother slipping in the oh, area, I'm man. Tighten up, man. You know, you know, you know that you tripping. Uh. The Lord say, hey, man. Um, Open rebuke is better, better than secret, secret love, love, man. You see. But read on. It say, um, from. I'll read it. I'll start the verse um, from the top again. Wisdom Solomon 5, 1 and 5, for the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when righteousness coming in. For wisdom is a for wisdom is a loving spirit and will not acquit a blasphemer Ooh. of his words. For Yahweh is a witness for his, of his reigns and a true beholder of his heart and a hearer of his tongue. For the spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and that which containeth all things have knowledge of the voice. Therefore he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid, neither shall vengeance when it punisheth, when it punisheth pass by him, man. See? Yeah, but what the scripture was saying, Nahum, the Lord would not at all acquit the weak. So you gotta watch how you talking, man. You gotta watch how you speaking against the Lord's men, man. You gotta watch. You know, your, your actions and the way how you carry things out when it comes to dealing in this truth and dealing with the Lord's men, man. Because the scripture also say what? Uh, life and death is in, in the, the power, power of the tongue, tongue, man. You know? And so what the scripture also say, silver is a man thinketh? Is he? Yeah. Roughly paraphrasing? Bible, Bible, Bible. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got y'all. Like Luke chapter 14, verse 27. And it reads... And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Whoo! See? That's heavy. Read it again, huh? That's heavy. And who and this red letter, this is our Lord saying this, man. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So man. you can't take the affliction. You know, the Lord said that this is a light affliction, man. Oh. You can't deal with the persecution. You can't deal with the affliction. You can't bear your cross. You can't, hey, hey, take up, you know, whatever you got to go through in your lot, man, and, and, and Lord willing to do. Then the Lord said, he ain't, you, you can't be his disciple, man. The Lord ain't looking for no weak, effeminate ass men, man. He looking for men who going to stand boldly and stand strong for the name of Jehovah Hashim Yahweh Shai, man. You can't be right. getting all bent out of shape and getting, and getting weak because something don't go your way. Or you don't like the way something came out. That Come on, that, man. That ain't a manly attribute. We got a man to fuck up, man. As men, man, the Lord say unto you, men have I called. He didn't That's say right. little boys. My voices to the sons of men. Hey, that remind me. Little I, weaklings. I, 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 <laughs> Isaiah 46 and 8. Uh, uh, therefore, show yourselves men. Show yourselves men, man. You got to be a man. I got a quick precept. Uh, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 4. And it reads, For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it come to pass. And ye know, verse 5, For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you, and our labor be in vain. Amen. Verse 5 said, For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, because verse 4, what it said, it said, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation. Man, you, well, hey, 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 you came into the truth. Man, you knew that one day we're going to have to suffer persecution for you. How about Shema Osha, man? Esau ain't just finna roll on us for one thing. Hey, we chained down this man's whole empire, man. This man finna roll on us about all type of things, multiple, man. Multiple list of things. Man, for the main thing, gay well, man, for the Lord's sake, man, for this truth. But it's truth, man. He know his kingdom is going down, man. Hey, man, you got to be aware of the tempter, man. The Lord is doing a lot of sifting, man. The spiritual demon Satan is out here devouring like a royal lion, man. Hey, we got to hold, hold fast to what we have. Let no man take thy crown, man. No man, man. 
Hold fast, hold fast to what, man? You how about Shemal Shah's word, man? It bring me into um, it bring me into um, if I can Bible shot bring out this quick precept. It's just one verse. Uh, First Maccabees chapter twelve. So lucky. First Maccabees chapter twelve and verse nine. Therefore, we also, albeit we need none of these things, for that we have the holy books of Scripture in our hands to comfort us, man. Hey, man, that, hey, we got the Scriptures, bro. So when you really rooted and grounded, man, this comforts you. This gets your mind right. This snaps you back into reality, man. Because the Scripture got an answer for everything. This ain't going that way. Hey, prove it in the Scripture how to resolve that issue. But see, when you ain't being diligent... You ain't being in the scriptures. You ain't being, you know, mm -hmm. a, 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 a sincere and diligent servant, you know, and you will forget these things, man. The Lord said, I'm blind at you. Boom. A stuff like you read earlier, then took that spirit away from you, man. You see? That's why we gotta, hey, we gotta, we gotta hold on to this. To, hey man, it's deeper than just doing the work, man. Yeah, it's deeper you know? like the brother put in the group said that yeah. video in brothers in Chicago. It's deeper than and, and knowing, knowing precepts, precepts, man. You see? You got to really be invested in this truth, man. And I'm just even speaking that to myself, hey, man. Because it's, it's a scary thing when the Lord takes the spirit from you, man. I don't want that. You see? I see why King David, Psalm 51, hey, cast me not away from thy presence yeah. and take not thy recompense away that's a prayer. That's a prayer that brothers should, hey, all brothers should have, you know. I found and, myself and, saying and, 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 and pray and say, man, you know. Because we want to we wanna stay in this fight, man. We want to stay in this, in, 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 in this race, man. Because what you going back to? Think about when before you had the truth, man. You was a walking missile. You was a you was a step away from death, man. The fact that the Lord chose you out of this world, man. You ain't choose yourself in this truth. This ain't no play play, man. When the Lord come back, the Lord says, "Shall I find faith on the earth, man?" Hey, for you ones, hey, the scriptures say, "I'm gonna kill him with this. I'm gonna let the brother have it." Second Edges 15 and 4, I want to say, hey, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. Because you really wasn't faithful to the Lord, man. You turned back, you know. And you how you, another thing, it's like, how you going to just thinking about, how you going to do your house shot like that, man? The Lord laid his life down, man. Look at what the Lord went through for us, man. That shit hurt me just talking about it, bro. Like, that, that. When you love the Lord, bro, you trying your best to please him, man, to show him, bro, like, don't kill me. I'd rather suffer and die for the truth. Don't, don't kill me for being a wicked nigga, a wicked servant. The Lord, man, the Lord is finna bring pain to this earth, man. A lot of men is finna die gruesome death for being wicked, man. Not being honest and sincere. And you had a chance. What second Ezra 9 say when well, yet yeah, a place of repentance were open unto them. They understood not, but despised it. Hey man. I feel like Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. For me and my house, man, we're gonna serve you how about your mouth shot. And now truth and sincerity, man. And Salaki, all you got it. That just was on my spirit. But yeah, that's just, that's just how it be, man. A lot of men, you know, they 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 just ain't faithful, man. You know, they they wasn't that they, they never had you know, a, 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 a good build of faith in the Lord, man. You know, somewhere in their mind, they was doubting. Or, or they were waiting. Yeah, there you go. You see? And the scripture said, what, a double-minded man is. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. You see? You got to be all the way in, man. You can't be half, half, half pussy putting, man. Half ass, like you yes. <laughs> You can't be doing that, man. You got to be, hey, man, hey, you either with the Lord or you ain't, man. There ain't no in between in the middle with the Lord, man. No gray area. You know, pick your side, man. But um, we can close out with this pretender. Oh yeah, come. This is um, we'll, we'll wrap it up, man. You, you, you. Oh yeah, yeah, come. We'll close. We'll, we'll close out with this, man. This is um, First John, two. Matter of fact, uh, I start from verse eighteen. It say, little chip on First John two and eighteen, little children. It is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist. Well, anti Hamashiach, -ha 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 let me say it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, um, shall come, even now are there many anti anti Hamashiachs, whereby we know that it, that it is the last time, man. So it's a lot of anti Yahweh man. Anti, you know, false anointed ones. Yeah, man. 
again, hey man, a lot of people, like we like we've been saying, man, really just offended in the Lord, man. You know. Verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would not doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us, man. You see? So 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 men that got weak, you know, got got faint hearted, you know. Hey man, they just what they just wasn't up, they just wasn't up before, man. They wasn't of the elect at the end of the day, man. You know? And the Lord and the Lord put them out there as a, 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 a as a as a um a sign so that hey brothers can see, man. The scriptures play out. You know? That's why hey, we gotta continue to just pray. Have faith, man. You know, pray to the Lord to increase our spirit, increase our faith each and every day, man. Day in and day uh, day out, man. You know? Pray to the Lord that he keep keep us kept, man, in this in this in this fight, man, in this walk. You know? Not to be a castaway, man. That's right. Bro. Because a lot of men are bugging out, man, and they falling out this truth, man. They falling away, man. They going back into the world, or they or they or they being um seduced into um um weird doctrines, mm -hmm. you know. As the scriptures say, teach your damnable heresies. That's right. All these things, man. You see, we gotta pray that the Lord keep a, a, a sincere, contrite spirit on us, man. And we continue to, to abide under the order and follow the, the correct and hundred percent doctrine. Once again, we believe our apostles and elders have, man, a um, great millstone. You know. Don't 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 let, hey man. The brother quoted early, man. Let not no man deceive you, man. Don't be taken over by the things of this world, man. I don't give a damn if it's your family. Friends, not even a brother, man. You know? Because what the scripture said in Jeremiah, hey, trust not every brother that is surely supplant, man. You and know? There's no and there's no. And that's not. Yeah, and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say not to say that yeah. to make you look at all brothers wrong. No, man. But just, man, be, be, be circumspect and be, and be to everything, man. The Lord said, be not ignorant of no matter small or great, man. Great because you, you know? got the spies and false brothers, you know? Agents, like all Agents. that, man. You know? So you got to be aware, but man. But the Lord got a special discretion for those because we read earlier, hey, uh, you, you offend them little ones, man. It'd be better you hang a, a, a millstone around right, your neck, man. man. That's why you got to get into these scriptures and get into the truth, man. The Lord says study the shots of approved, man, so that you rightly divide the word of truth, man. That's right. We got to constantly continue to build ourselves and grow, man. So we we, we so when, when these things... You know, with, with, you may start um, with, with false brethren and things, man. You know, you you see, you know, brother teaching incorrect doctrine, man. You got to know how to how, 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 how to check it, man. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be swayed over, you know, because ultimately you just following man. You see, and a lot of men, man, are, are being respected of persons, man, and followers of men, and not Yahweh shy, man. Hey. They ain't sticking to the script, man. Hey, that just bring me into this, then. This is Galatians chapter 1, verse 10. For do I not persuade men or Yahweh? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of a Mashiach. That's right, man. It's all about pleasing how about she how shot. Not men, not even your own self, not your flesh, not your thoughts. No, nah, man, the Lord, man. We're trying to be accepted by your how about she how shot. We can give a damn. What anybody else think, man? In this damn world, man. In this society, man. These people are fucking bugged out, man. That's right, bro. They don't. They, they, hey, man. They, they, they don't know if they're coming or going, man. But why the hell should we care about what the world got to say, man? Damn this world, man. The we with you. Say the fashion of this world. Don't pass, pass away, man. Who with you? How about she out shot, man? No matter what, Lord willing, man. We endure until the end, man. That's right. We gonna follow what the Lord said, man. Right, man. Hey, man. hey, with that, man, hey, Lord willing, this was an edifying street preaching. Stay faithful, repent, and be converted to the sincere believers that may come across this uh, video. Hey, stay rooted and grounded, man. That go for us, too. So with that being said, once again, Lord willing, this was an edifying street preaching. We would like to close out by giving all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah, a hey, double honors to the apostles and elders, a double great honor. millstone that teach and rule well, laboring 100% doctrine who we learn the truth from according to the Bible. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing his truth and our righteousness and his sincerity around the four winds scattered abroad. 
And to the sincere believers and a few off off, shalom. Shalom. To the next time, we would like to say, Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Ababa Baal. Ababa Baal. Hey, Ababa Baal, man. Ababa Baal. Shalom. Shalom.